super excited to announce that I got my shirts in and I want to say thank you to Spicy Bear. I'll leave a link up here for the design. He did an amazing job. Today on Branscombe Farm, we're going to be weaning babies and going over health checks. All right, so let's go check out Rarity's babies and see how big they are. Here's Rarity's babies. It looks like they're excited to see me. Let's open up the cage. Hey guys, back up. So they are almost six weeks old and they're starving. So I'm gonna get them some food. <laughs> Look at them. At this age, it's hard for one J feeder to feed eight babies and a mama. So I'm gonna pull them out, weigh them, try to get a gender on them, and then I'm gonna pull the biggest ones. Now when you wean, you don't want to wean them all at the same time because that can cause the mama rabbit to have mastitis and that's where the breast milk will clog up and cause an infection. So we want to wean a few off at a time. With a litter of eight, I'll probably wean off four, which is half of the bigger ones, and then one to two each day for a week until they're all gone. Now the easiest way to be able to wean them is to use a carrier to transport them over to my shed instead of carrying them one at a time. And I just use the same thing I use when I go to shows. So this is what it looks like. It has a bottom on there so that if they go to the bathroom, it catches everything. And this is required if you show because you have to have leak proof containers. And you can find these at any, um, any show or you can order them online. I definitely like the two whole ones better. They're easier for me to carry. Um, the three whole ones get a little bit bulky. It's not necessarily heavier, but um, it's more difficult to manage the, the bulk of it. So again, this is what it looks like. You wanna get a solid divider. That way if you have a buck and a doe next to each other, they're not gonna be spraying. I'm just going to pull them out one at a time and put four on each side and then I'm going to use this sharpie once I figure out if they're a girl or a boy and go ahead and put their ear number in sharpie in their ear. I'll tattoo them once they become eight to ten weeks old. Look at that cute little face. <laughs> Now, when you're getting them out, you want to make sure that you support their body. These haven't been handled very much, but if you breed for temperament, then they're going to be calm. If you have an aggressive doe, then her babies are going to be more aggressive. That's just what I've found. Now, when you're picking them up, I've seen some people pick them up by the scruff of the neck. You don't want to do that. That can injure the babies. Just support them and make sure you tuck them under if you're having to carry for a long distance, kind of like a football. Their eyes go under and you just carry it like a football. And now I have them in their cage and I can already say, see that some are bigger than others, but I'm gonna go ahead and get a weight and try to figure out their gender. So let's go over to the scales. I just used this kitchen scale that you can use for produce. I got it on Amazon and I used this bucket to put the rabbit in. And I just used this button here, the tear, and it zeroes it out so then I can get the weight of the rabbit. Pretty simple, huh? So I'm going to set it in there and see how much it weighs. This one's one of the smaller ones. It's one pound and 13.6. Um... I'll write that on my logbook, but first I gotta see if it's a buck or a doe. Looks like a little boy, so that's gonna get a number three. 
So as I'll weigh the rabbits, I put a number in their ear. That way I know if they're a buck or a doe. And I also write down their weight in my log book that I use for keeping track of their growth rate. And I just use an Excel spreadsheet. Let's see how much this one weighs. Two pounds, 4.2 ounces. Now to check the gender. Looks like a little buck. So it's gonna get a number one. And what I do is all the boys, all the bucks, get odd numbers, one, three, five, seven, nine, and all the does get even numbers, like two, four, six, eight. Pretty simple. Then I will put it in my record book under its ear number. So for these, um, since these are Rarity and Big Macs, and they were born in April, so they'll be 4-9-B-R-1. And the one will be saying that he's the first buck. So the four is just the month, nine is the year, 2019, B is for Big Mac, R is for Rarity, and then the last number is whether or not they're a buck or a doe. So after I weigh them and I put their ear number in, this is what it will look like. You just write it right there. So six, I know that's a doe, so whenever I'm looking at them, then I know which ones are girls or boys without having to flip them over and check their gender. So, super exciting. This is a little girl. Now, once they become eight weeks old or older and um, they're ready to go to their forever home, then I do a permanent tattoo in their left ear. And I do that based on the month they were born in, the year, and then their parents. And then that number that I gave them when I weighed them the first time that's their identification number for a doe or a buck. So for this litter, they were born in April, so they, the first number would be four. Then they were born in 2019, so the second number would be a nine. Big Mac is their dad, so it would be a B for the sire. And then Rarity is their mom. She's the dame, so they'll get an R. And then the last number is their gender. So for a doe, it would be, for this one, it would be six. And that helps me with my records. So whenever I have one of my rabbits, I can look in their ear. I know when they were born, what year they were born, who their parents are, and if they're a buck or a doe, just by looking at their ear number. And I don't have to go inside and look at my records. Um, now I do have Rarity and Rainbow Dash, which are both R's and they're both does. So how I've got around having two does with the same name is for Rarity, I do the month, year, and then the uh, parent symbols or letters. And then for Ra Rainbow Dash, I do the parent, so BR, month, year, and then their number for their gender. So that's how I differentiate in my rabbitry what rabbits I have and where they come from. So really quick, I'm gonna try to show you how I tell the gender of these rabbits. Now this is hard with just one person. Um, but, and it's hard when they're little, but I'll try to get an up close shot and show you how I determine if they're a buck or a doe. So what I do is I just hold them close to me like this and I just then look and I pull their tail down and then you push. You can see how that looks like a taco. Then you can tell that's a girl by how it does a slit. See the slit? That's a girl. Looks more like a burrito. Now if you don't push hard enough, sometimes you can mistake it and think it's a girl. But see how it's a circular, like a burrito?
it just sticks out. You can really see it. That's a boy. Now as they age, it gets a lot easier to tell a gender. Uh, about four weeks, I'm about 50-50. Sometimes I mix up um, a doe and a buck because if you don't push um, hard enough, sometimes uh, the buck will look like a slit when it, if you don't push hard enough, it doesn't protrude enough. Uh, so I like to wait till six weeks and then I'm more um, certain on what their gender is. And then once they get to be about 12 weeks old, the bucks will have their testicles descending and it's by far, you just flip them over and you can look for the testicles and you know for sure that that's a buck. The does then will have a more pronounced uh, slit and they'll be purple. And that's another way you know that they're ready to breed is if it's a really light pink, then they're not ready. And if it's a more purplish or a very dark red in the does, then you know they're gonna be more receptive to a buck. And if you'd like to see a video on like the different ages of sexing rabbits, please let me know. Um, I may have to have my husband help me with that because it's harder um, to video and try to hold the rabbit at the same time by yourself. Thanks for watching Branscombe Farm and this was Rarity and her baby's weight check at six weeks. Stay tuned to watch them grow. Thank you and God bless. Mm -hmm.